Huh, okay. Past issues. So, the heart of the reading is the Ace of Wands. This is an exciting new beginning, um, a new beginning, new creative um, journey, new projects, um, things of that nature, things that have a spark. Okay? Uh, something new coming up and it's coming by really fast actually it's what's what it's being crossed by so nothing's hindering this um other than possibly some balance between head and heart if it isn't coming is it, is it coming if it isn't coming for you guys excuse me um but typically what this means to me is that this is very fast it's a very fast new beginning coming heading your way at the moment um or a new beginning isn't starting yet because you need to balance your head and your heart so you need to get some balance in there so that way things can come to you okay um so the, for, for the ones that are doing that it's it's coming your way um you the foundation for your reading is the nine of wands so this is feeling like giving up tired um you've been beaten and you've been guarding this place for a while you thinking about just dropping the stick and leaving you know just peace out but this is about not giving up. This is the foundation of not giving up. Okay? In the present, you have the Ace of Cups. This is a new love. This is new love, guys. In your present, if you haven't seen it yet, it is coming soon. Um, or this is a um, <clears throat> the beginning of emotional growth. Okay? In the future, you have the Moon. Now, when the moon is in the future, it's basically the universe telling us that they don't want us to know what's coming up next. They're not telling us. I can pull a clarifier for it, but it might not be clear because we don't have anything to go off of as far as the future because it's not showing. It's hidden at the moment, okay? So the future for right now, it's up to you. It's in your hands in a way. So that's why I like to say when the moon comes up, it's in your hands. So whatever you decide to do with your life, it is up to you pretty much. <clears throat> what your future looks like what your crowning energy is is or what you're dealing with then what will help you get to what you want is the seven of swords this is the lie stealing deception card um this is about not being honest it's about lies um so in the crowning energy it sounds like to me it's saying that you're probably dealing with some lies and dishonesty um or you could you, you might need to sneak away or um sne you know sneak away from this problem um to pretty much solve it or just kind of step back take a step back and um just kind of if it's not your business mind just mind yours you know what i mean don't don't go in charging in don't help don't do anything just kind of stay back okay um or this could be someone that's something that you're dealing with. I think this is more so what you're dealing with right now. Someone's sneaking away, you're sneaking away, or you're not dealing with an issue. Okay? <clears throat> your feelings, you're working towards your rewards right now. It's just a lot of waiting and right, just working. Doing the, you're doing the usual. As you see, it's kind of frustrated. So you guys kind of feel fr kind of frustrated at the moment. Just kind of having to just always work and, you know, just keep up keep up with things but you don't you haven't seen your rewards yet so you kind of feel frustrated at the moment in your outside factors you have the nine of pentacles so you feel kind of lonely you look lonely you, you look single but you're also financially abundant and you're very independent at the moment so that's what the, that's how the world sees you right now um what you're hoping for is the king of cups someone that you someone love someone that's a lover someone that um is a very affectionate um, very nurturing. Um, they also could be a Scorpio, such sorry, <laughs> Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. So if you're hoping for somebody in particular that has any of these signs, they're they're here in your hopes and fears. Um, but there's some. This is a lover. So this is something that you're kind of hoping that you're hoping for some love. And the higher front is in your outcome. So that's rigid traditions, religion, structure, lifestyle. Um, this is basically. Um, kind of the control card if you know if it means it's 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 really complicated it's like it's like it's not necessarily it's control within lines within barriers and boundaries if that makes sense 
so that's what your outcome is it's a, it's a lifestyle so it's, it's a structure in your outcome that sounds pretty good okay let's go ahead and clarify the under the um hopes the crowning energy no not the crowning energy the underlying energy <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about the clearing of the throat, guys. I don't know what happened. It's just starting to act up. Okay, I don't like energy, please. Aha. Uh -huh. So the three of swords um, is in regards to the five of pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold. Um, this is also the financially broke card. You know, you're not, you don't have a lot of money. And it's also not getting a lot of support or ignoring support. So maybe you could, you may be dealing with this situation right now where there isn't any support. Or you could be, you could be ignoring support right, right around you. Like you could, you're probably doing everything by yourself. And you feel like you're doing things by yourself. Um, but you're just not really acknowledging the support that's right there. Like you could walk into that church right there, but you don't want to. You might let it go your own way. And that's some that's another meaning for it. Um, but what is regarding for the three of swords, the pain, the, uh, the old issues, is um, not skinning, not having any support, or not or ignoring the support that given that that's obviously available to you. Well, let's clarify the heart of the reading. Okay, Ace of Wands and the Crowning. Sorry, in the heart of the reading. Let's clarify that, please. I really want to clarify that crowning energy. And that is the Five of Swords. So the Ace of Wands is is um, having in regards to the Five of Swords, a victory that didn't feel much like a victory. It's lacking in emotional um, achieve, fulfill, um, fulfillment. So it's an emotionless kind of like ending of things. It's like the battle's over. You have a brand, but you don't feel very good about it. So, so, or it could be a, a spark of a new beginning that is lacking you know, excitement. You know, it's lacking that new excitement. Okay, let's crossing it with the chariot. Let's clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot for me, please. Clarify the chariot for me, please. Clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot. Okay, the nine of pentacles again. Wow. So, this new beginning is fast based off of independence so like you're the only person keeping the momentum going you need to you you're feeling independent and maybe oh see because the chariot is what's crossing the so it's crossing the um <clears throat> The new beginning, the new exciting beginning that doesn't really have emotional fulfillment in it. Or it's based off of like that. You're trying to get spice back, right? You're trying, you're getting, you're having this new beginning after this, you know, this kind of, this challenge that you're going through, that you had just went through, this victory that had no fulfilling stuff in it, that had no fulfilling, um, nothing emotionally fulfilling in it. So maybe you're trying to get that back. But what's going to get you there is by doing it either by doing it solo by balancing yourself out finding with finding something within yourself um to get that to that speed back or to get it to go faster or you know to, to get it to get some momentum in there or you don't have momentum because you're or because you're not focusing on yourself you're not independent which I am highly surprised about because um, Virgos are very independent um, or maybe you're lacking in financial abundance, but it says you are financially abundant. Or maybe you're starting this new beginning, 
um, in this momentum because you're pushing it. I mean, you're the person pushing it. Um, or, there's, or there's victory in you being independent. So it could be a new spike at the beginning based off of a previous situation that wasn't very fulfilling. And um, that victory, you're crossed with victory, which means like you're getting that victory right now. That's like the you're not getting victory because you're not either you don't feel independent, or you're not independent, or you are independent and you are going to get that victory. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and play for the rest of the cards to see if we get any sense. Let's go ahead. Uh, please clarify the nine of wands, please. Okay, that's interesting. So, the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands came out. So I think, so the foundation is based off of a new beginning in regards to either you, um, a new sparking, a new exciting beginning for you, um, regarding yourself, um, or um, with someone else, someone that's your soulmate. Uh, like that someone else, someone else is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Because pentacles are Earth energy, or it could be you working, being financial, you know, working, um, being financially uh, stable in yourself, you being stable, really organized. But it's your foundation. So it's so. Hmm. Let me just. So huh. So maybe you're feeling tired that you're kind of doing everything by yourself. Okay, the Ace of Cups. Um, the clarifier with the Ace of Cups is the Page of Cups. So someone either offered love to you or you're offering love. Or you're beginning this new um, romantic journey uh, with yourself by starting off as being, you know, as opening yourself up and focusing on your emotions. Um, so this could be emotional growth or you being open to love, you offering love in the present. So there's new love. Or this could be emotional for you know, the beginning of emotional growth and you're starting out um, focusing on how you feel. Okay. So let's go ahead and try and pull for the future. What is the future? The uh, six of wands, victory. So an unknown victory. That's what we're talking about here, because that's or unknown recognition. So I don't. Yep, yeah, it's not telling us what exactly what victory you're going to be getting it from, but there's going to be some victory within this. It's not telling us what the future is or what the future holds, but there's definitely some victory in that, which is good to see. Okay, seven of swords in a crowning energy, please. Seven of swords in crowning energy. 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 Alright, so it's definitely sneaking away because you have two of wands here, I believe. Either somebody is lying about the decision that they have and that's what you're dealing with, or you if someone's lying to you and you're having or you want to create a decision or make a decision. Um and you need to make a decision to get what you want, or you're not dealing with figuring out where you want to go and what decision you have to make or what other decision this person has to make. I think this is mostly for you though, so this is it either not dealing with with the with uh, with the decision that you have to make, or or um, making a decision, and just um, in regards to some lies, huh? But I think it's not dealing with something. Maybe you don't. Maybe um, in regards to you sneaking away, it's about making a decision. So you have to probably make a decision, or you were, you made a decision, um, and now what is best for you to do right now is to sneak away not deal with something that's weird or maybe you need to be more sneaky huh or maybe don't lie make a decision okay make a decision um without being dishonest with yourself. This has a lot to do with dishonesty towards yourself. 
in your feelings um, to clarify the uh, seven of pentacles is the is the world so this is a this is a successful completion and maybe that's your reward or your um, in regards to how you feel the frustration you feel is due to not fully evolving going through the cycle okay, outside factors and nine pentacles outside factors nine of pentacles okay you have the uh, five of cups in your outside factors too in regards to the nine of pentacles so because you felt regret in the um the felt regret or missed opportunities or maybe you're or you regret feeling um an alone or you had a missed opportunity and that's why you're alone now excuse me i'm sorry yeah maybe you had a missed opportunity then and and that's why you're you know, that's why you're seen as the nine of pentacles because you had an opportunity in the past or you feel like you've missed an opportunity or it looks like you missed an opportunity but you really haven't that's also about being grateful so either so maybe you're grateful that you're independent that you kind of have your own space that you're financially abundant so maybe you're working on being more grateful um, of what you have now If you are grateful about being independent and financially abundant, and you're not focused on three cups that spilt behind you, that is spilt in front of you, you have the two cups behind you, so you're very happy with that. Or you have regret about being alone because of the misopportunity. Hope you fierce. Uh, King of Cups. Ten of Swords. So you hope for the end to be over. So tens are endings of cycles. This is betrayal um as well. And that's not really nice when you have the seven of swords there. So it could be it could be some sort of betrayal. You hope that um or you could hope for the end the worst to be over. So the cycle so you hope for the end result of this cycle with the world and your feelings, of which I'm going by, that it will that it'll come out to have a king of cups, which is understandable. I mean, you are frustrated at this moment, like you are waiting and you're working for the rewards. You know, you're better in yourself, it seems like, actually, so you can have your king of cups. So you can be, or you can have that ability to say, I have control of my feelings and emotions. I can offer love now, you know? It could be that you're wanting this to be over so you can get to the King of Cups. If you could be more, you can be more successful to love. You could, um, you have control over your emotions. You could love yourself more, possibly. Two, like that's another option. That's just you wanting um, a lover, but you being a lover. You wanting yourself to be a lover. Okay, and what is the higher friend feelings? It's a higher front and the feelings. Higher front and the feelings. Oh. Higher front and the feelings consist of the lovers and the chariot. So this is victory in love, guys. This is also decision making as well. So so this choice is to have it have to be made in regards to your love life and between your head and heart and then balancing it too. Balancing your head and heart. Because that's what the chariot is about. If you see the chariot, there's a white sphinx and a black sphinx. The black sphinx is the thoughts, this is your mind, and the white is your is your heart, is your feelings. So once you have these two balanced, you have momentum. They can both stand up and they can walk together to make the chariot move. And that's what you need to get things going. That's what you need to get things moving. And you have that absolute crossing you. So, so you have that momentum once you've made the decision between your head and heart so but i think it's in regards to love huh what is this let me go ahead and quickly clarify the lovers really fast because that is interesting well, what, please clarify the clarifier of lovers for the outcome higher friend two yes all major outcome cards two oh Oh, okay. The Ten of Cups. 
So emotional fulfillment. Huh. This is definitely a lot about you guys. I really see yourselves in this message. It's not really much of anybody else. The only possible thing, the only possibility of someone else being in regard being in this reading is the king of cups but it's in your hopes and fears and i don't know if this is exactly about you i mean exactly about someone else because it's a lot about you and your growth and your victories um and you're deciding of which way to go in your life so it's traditional possibly having to do with traditional decision making and balancing of your head and heart but you want traditional love with your head and heart as well and underlying and the underlying sorry and under the deck you have the four of pentacles so that's the feeling stuck card and that's the minus card keeping in keeping everything that's that has value that you have value in close to you and not opening up so perhaps this whole thing is about you learning how to accept in um accept your feelings and open up about them express them so you're hoping to express maybe your feelings right all right, let's go ahead and pull a romance angel. Card here. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm just adjusting everything. retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so this is pretty much about soul surgery that's what i thought it's about really taking some time out for yourself and learning looking within yourself and learning more about yourself so getting that financial that, that sorry not financial growth but that emotional growth Oof. exchanging gifts that is the oracle card here for your reading and this is set this is 27. i'm just gonna go ahead and read the oracle meaning for that okay exchanging gifts essential meanings the law of giving and receiving currency uh trade-off weighing cost and determining value of oracle meaning oracle message excuse me you're entering into a productive and enriching time when all manner of opportunities are about, are being of offered or sorry are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them. Yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time, exchange your experience and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you are choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to successfully um, to be successful if you align the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life so let's read the Roman, uh, the relationship message as well love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings it grows exponentially when it's reciprocated you must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow to flow between you um, spirit wants you to start accepting all of the blessings waiting for you as well as offer the same gifts in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. So for those that are single, I think this is an inner journey for you guys to figure out exactly what, to figure out exactly where to go about because you go about things because you're not dealing with it. I don't think you're dealing with it and you're sneaking away. Um, um, you know, yeah, because you have the seven of swords in your crown energy, and you—it's weird to have that there. Maybe you're not being honest. 
or maybe there's some dishonesty that you're dealing with within yourself um for all the couples out there um or for people that are in relationships this is definitely finding that spark within yourself um find that spark and getting the momentum going when you can do that when you get that spark and that momentum going and if you do have it but this is a, a this is a new beginning that's starting really fast um enjoy this time right now because you have new love in your beginning so this is emotional growth and the ace of, uh, and the page of cups so that offer so that love is being expressed right now because the page of cups is a um, uh, pages are messages and cups is about emotion so it's an emotional message so this, this is expressing your love right now expressing yourself emotionally um I know you probably feel frustrated at the moment, but take this time now to express how you feel. Um, if it's with a partner, but if it's with yourself, be okay with understand and accept that you don't feel very happy at the moment. So that way you can better gauge how you feel. So that way you can have a better chance at a relationship in the future. 